Tonight, two celebrity chefs will square off in the greatest culinary battle of all time. time. First of all, thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm so excited for you to taste <laughs> what I've created for you today. There's just one catch. Feels the same. Should I put my finger in it? No, don't put your finger in it. I'm going to put my finger in it. They won't be the ones in the kitchen. Are we certain we put cornstarch in? Well, I don't know, because I'm in a phone booth right now. The mind of a chef. We want it to be nice and, and fluffy. Partnered with the hands of an idiot. I hope you're not disappointed in me. I'm trying so hard. What did I make? <laughs> Only connected by a pay phone? Focus, Steve. <laughs> okay, honestly, this is fun. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you're really funny, but I might not laugh because I'm, I'm stressed. <laughs> no! Phoning it in starts right now. Welcome to Phoning It In. Today's theme is chocolate. The rules are simple. While the chefs on the phone have prepared their recipes, the chefs in the kitchen are not allowed to know what they're making. Each team will be given two hours to complete their dish and present it to our panel of judges. Let's meet our contestants. Johnny Cake's Manganello is the breakout star of Netflix's Is It Cake? His hyper-realistic style has garnered over a million followers on TikTok. I not only like to make pastries that look picture perfect, but also taste outstanding. Winning would mean everything, and I'll tell you why. I've competed on shows in the past, and I've never taken home a win. But today, he'll be phoning in his instructions and recipe to an idiot. My name is Zach, and I lack culinary skill. As a chef, I would say that my style is general panic. When I'm in the kitchen, chaos reigns. I don't know what we're cooking today, but even if I did know what we were cooking, it wouldn't matter, because I'm very bad at this. Frankly, I'm not interested in cooking. I don't want to know. I'm not, I don't care. Jimmy Wong is a cookbook author and co-host of Feast of Fiction, a cooking show aimed at bringing foods from TV and film to life. My baking style is figure out the recipe by testing it about a thousand times and then following it to a T. I consider myself a very competitive person when it comes to stuff that I personally think I'm very capable of. Today, Jimmy will be phoning in his instructions to this guy. My name is Keith, and judges tend not to like my inventive creations. I like to make white people taco night. I'm not a good baker. I don't have patience for recipes. I don't like sweets. And I'd like to be high while I do it and not have a hard time. Have you ever not cleaned up egg on your counter, and then you walked away and it comes back? It turns into like crystals. You ever seen that? <laughs> What's going on with eggs? To begin, each team will have enough quarters for 30 minutes on the phone. And their time starts right now. Is this Zach? Johnny, is that you? It's me, Johnny. How are you? It's been so long. Oh my god, okay, this is happening. Hello, Keith? Keith, can you yes. hear me? Hello, oh, yes. Great. I need you to grab a bunch of ingredients. I'm going to say them to you one at a time. First, two sticks of unsalted butter. So I am opting to make a black forest cake. This is a really awesome cake that uses shaved chocolate shavings to coat the outside, and it gives us this awesome textured look and feel. It doesn't really matter what it looks on the inside because you can put on a lot of stuff on the outside. It's like wearing a beautiful dress, but not showering underneath. Two sticks of unsalted butter. They're pretty dang cold. Oh shoot, they're cold. Okay, I can put, 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 put them in my pockets for a while. <laughs> Don't put them in your pockets. Okay, Johnny, I've got bowls and I've got measuring stuff. Fantastic, you're halfway there. Okay, can you go get me two cups of whole milk? Chocolate whole milk? Not chocolate whole milk. I am actually going to steer away from chocolate overload. So we're gonna do a chocolate eclair. So you're gonna get that dark chocolate flavor profile, but there's gonna be so much else going on. I know going into this that this is a risk. So if it can be executed well, I think we have a win on our hands. A lot could go wrong for somebody with crippling anxiety. <laughs> I mean, isn't that half the fun of this? Isn't that why we're here? Okay, we're gonna work on two different things at once, okay? So I want you to get a medium saucepan. What's a saucepan? Sauce... Okay, so, um, a saucepan. 
Okay, I need you to get warm water in one of the bowls so that you can submerge the sticks of butter in it. Because we gotta get them to room temperature. Really important. I'm really hoping this isn't gonna do that thing where it like just shatters the glass. You know how that can happen? <laughs> that would be bad. Whole milk. I put the milk in the saucepan. Oh, fantastic, you did that without me. Boil, 212, baby. Keith and I are doing totally different things right now, which is super confusing. Don't worry, you know what? Just focus on us. You and me, baby. Yeah, it's like a like a first date, but stressful. <laughs> Can you find parchment paper and scissors? Parchment paper. All right, first I thought you said parsnip paper, and I'm like, that's crazy, bro. I've been able to judge Keith a couple of times on Without a Recipe, and I think he brings a lot of heart to the table, and also a big history of food behind him. Okay, I think these are properly greased. All right, cool. You're gonna find a duster, so it kind of looks like a metal net almost. Like a sifter? Yeah, kind of like that. I assume we're gonna dust these pans? Correct. Okay. This is fun, bro. Does it look properly? It's getting really chocolatey. And you want this on the paper, right? Yeah, yeah, on the paper, on everything. Oh, it's it's on everything. There's <laughs> chocolate everywhere, bro. <laughs> chocolate is everywhere. I've never been like this chocolate on my shoe. And my shoe is one of those kind that's like porous. So there's probably chocolate in my socks. I know what I'm making. Rachel, I'm making a mess. <laughs> There's All chocolate right. everywhere. So now what we need to do is we need to separate the egg yolks and the egg whites. We want the yolks, we do not want the whites. I don't care what you do with the whites. <laughs> Just throw them away. I'm not fast. Oh, okay, we lost an egg, don't worry about it. Okay, that's two and a half. I've never heard of an egg be measured in, in half units, but okay, cool. We're gonna mix together the dry ingredients of the recipe, okay? Two cups of flour in the bowl, salt, baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, three-fourths of a cup of cocoa powder. Okay, man, there's chocolate right, everywhere. Yes. I'm doing that technique where you kind of pass it back and forth. Love it, love that technique. Did you wash your hands? Did I wash my hands today? I did. You said today, like, you don't do it every day. I'd say we're in too deep to ask if I wash my hands, Johnny. Can you check now the butter in the bowl and see if it is squishy? Yeah, it looks more than squishy. <laughs> Feels like uh, hot little wet socks of butter. What you want to be able to do to be able to put a finger into it and easily press into it. Oh yeah, that finger's going no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Next up, we're gonna find a stand mixer. Uh -huh. Get the sugar, you have granulated sugar now? I need you to pour two cups of that into there. Okay, two cups of granulated sugars. Should be about five minutes. We're creaming the butter and sugar together right now. I hope you're not disappointed in me. I'm trying so hard in here. There's butter and chocolate everywhere. You know there are towels you could wipe your hands off, right? That is acceptable as a baker. All right, measure out two thirds cup of sugar and put it in with the egg yolks. This is gonna be a workout. You're gonna whisk it, whisk it together. Ooh, the egg is like turning into like this squand putty. And then I want you to go grab me a fourth a cup of cornstarch. I got the cornstarch. All right, dump it in and whisk, 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 whisk. Hey, do you know what my favorite cooking strategy board game is called? What? Whisk. I get it. I can't wait to joke with you later. Add in our wet ingredient. So you have the canola oil and the buttermilk and the coffee right next to you, right? Yes. All right, so we're going to very slowly add this into the mixture, right? So if it's the oil, you're gonna dump in like a third of it. Third of it at a time. Yeah. Whoa, I heckin' just eyeball a third like a god. Like a god. I am really good at this. It's a, yeah, it's like a little less than a third, but it's dang close. Focus, Keith. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, I want you to place the the milk mixture next to the bowl of cornstarch, eggs, and sugar. What the dick am I making? All right, we've got milk, we've got eggs. I want you to take a fourth of a cup of that warm milk mixture. Can you test to make sure it's still warm? I think it's my... back, but... Ow. Yeah, I'd say it's hot. Ow. Why'd you make me do that? If I were a baby, I would be screwed right now. The good news is you're a full grown man, so you're fine. Okay, now put a fourth of a cup of milk into the egg mixture and whisk that. Because if I do this too quick, I get scrambled eggs, right? Exactly. Congeal is a gross word. Yeah, it is, okay. We're gonna put in the coffee, but only half the cup. Ooh, it's fun. All right, now we have your two eggs, right? Check this out, here we go, the one hand break. Yeah? No, 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 why, why are you doing one hand? No. Perfect. Why is it all bubbles? No, 
In which way? <laughs> it's bubbles. Keith, would you describe this as bubble bath-esque? No, Keith, Keith, let, let, okay, all right, kids. We're gonna put a teaspoon of the vanilla extract in as well. It looks kind of like a latte that's thick. That is exactly what it should look like. So we're gonna mix in that first big bowl of dry ingredients into this thing in front of you. I'm pretty sure I'm making a cake. Are you short on room? Well, I'm always short on room. You're really funny, but I might not laugh because I'm I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm running out of time here. I, Do you have I'm a bowl just... full of goo? Put 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 saran wrap over it. Put it in the freezer. Wrap over it. Put it in the freezer. Fluffy, fluffy. Oh shit! Hang up and try again. Oh. He okay. I lost him. He said put put put. I also said we're running out of time here. But I need to know what the butter is to just. He said put put put. I'm gonna guess I put 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 it in the fridge. With their initial round of quarters gone, now each chef will have to compete in the ancient art of cup and ball. Okay, honestly, this is fun. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. He would have specified a bowl, bowl, bowl that could go in the oven. So I'm gonna guess that I put, put, put this in the refrigerator. Oh my gosh. I don't know if there was enough butter because you guys saw how the butter looked. You guys saw. <laughs> he doesn't know. Do children play this game? <gasps> now they'll spin the wheel of mayhem to determine how many quarters the fates allow. Eight quarters! Bring me to the arcade, suckers. Let's go. Hey! Hey! Man, cheater. I feel like I'm at Chuck E. Cheese! Daddy? You're back. I'm back! Oh, thank goodness. All right, buddies. Zach, Zach, Zach. Johnny, I put it in the fridge. Yes! Put it in the freezer, though, but good job. Oh, the freezer! Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm making. How are the dry ingredients doing? It's pretty gooey, I'd say. It kind of looks like a thicker brownie batter. Great. Okay, so let's make our way over to our cake pans. And what you're going to want to do is slowly and evenly pour it out into both and then pick up the, the pans and sort of bop them down so that the batter starts to even out the top. Get the, the pans on like a surface that you can spin them on. And what you want to do is carefully grab them and spin it. And what this is going to do is help even out the batter on the inside so that it's going to bake as flat as possible, okay? This is Fun. You should see it really start to even out the surface of them. I want you to put both of those into the oven, the 350 degree oven now. One of them kind of looks like there's a squirrel on it. Okay. Sure, why not? I, I, Love it. Okay, so now we're going to move on to part two, okay? This is a completely separate part. Eclairs are a three-step pastry. There's making the pastry cream, there's making the shoe pastry, and then there's making chocolate ganache. I need you to get another saucepan. I got it, John. Don't even sweat it, bro. So in that saucepan, I want you to put the cup of water, put a whole stick of butter, give it a bath. Done. Two teaspoons, teaspoons of sugar, not salt. Salt. <sighs> well, I've watched too many of these Try Guys videos to know that that could happen. And we need this to come to a roaring boil. Looks okay. kind of... Yeah, it's now, now it's just all boiling. And then I want you to take that cup of flour that we have, dump it into the bowl. Dump it! And then stir it in. Stir it in until it's incorporated. And ah! <laughs> oh, Johnny, it splashed on my hand. Put all of that mixture into the stand mixer. And then what we want to do is we want to crack in eggs one at a time. And what's your preference on, um, do you want shell or no shell? Obviously no f***ing shell. I'm sorry for well, yelling, but no not, shell. Not obvious. <laughs> Baby, when did you ever eat an eggshell? All right, so I'm gonna need you to find the heavy cream. Heavy cream. It might be in the fridge. Oh, Wait. it's so heavy. JK. Get two tablespoons of granulated sugar on top of the heavy cream. Oh, we're making whipped cream. Bingo! I, I've done this before, but I've yeah. always used powdered sugar. Uh, again, though, I've only ever done this when guessing. <laughs> What happened to the baking? Yeah, I'm it's, assuming it's we're time at. to go. It's time to go. Pull them out and let's toothpick test those cakes. Oh, that one's pretty good. Let's grab them and let's put them in the freezer. You want them in the freezer? Yeah. We need them to be as cool as possible before we take it out. Otherwise, we might ruin the whole thing. I might ruin the whole thing. Jeez. Yeah, I'm putting another quarter in. Okay, so now we're going to take that part two. What are you calling that part two that we did? Is um, there a name for it? 
eggy goo and mixy goo. So we're gonna take mixy goo and we're gonna put it in a bag and we're gonna pipe it out on a baking tray. Okay, so you get the this and the this. And I want them to look as straight and uniform as possible. They should be about six inches in length and about as like fat or thick as like a corn dog, okay? So like little dicks. I mean, you said little dicks. I didn't say little dicks. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm the one calling them little dicks. But now you're saying it's an average sized dick for those at home who are concerned. Yeah, a little, a six inch is not a weird dick. That's a great dick. Great, awesome. Love that we cleared that up, but I do also wanna see if we're piping right now. our way to the semi-sweet chocolate chips in the bowl. Pour it over and you're gonna use that spatula to basically start swirling around and mixing it until all the chocolate has melted. Oh yeah, melty welty. I want you to go get some chocolate chips. All right, semi-sweet chocolate, you got it. Zach. Zach, that's so much chocolate on the you floor. You didn't put the lid on tight. I want you to go find a bar of semi-sweet chocolate. So you're gonna put the box grater inside the bowl. You're gonna basically shave chocolate shavings on the largest side. The more the merrier, because we're gonna use this all over our final product. It is yeah, not as easy as I want it to be. It's really grating on me, if I can be honest. Aha! Uh -huh. And the bowl fits snugly on the on the pot. Oh, it's so snug. These dudes are cuddling. You're, you're making a double boiler. Oh, you're double boiling. I have a feeling something something funny is about to happen. Okay, Johnny, what. what's next? We're wasting time, man. <laughs> okay, we are getting close, buddy. We're gonna come back to the chocolate shavings in just a bit, so let's put this to the side and let's go get our cakes out of the freezer. And then you should be able to very carefully turn it upside down and have the whole thing come out. Oh yeah, it came out almost too well. <laughs> So if you put the other one on top, is it pretty flat? It's not like too wobbly or one direction or the other. Okay, here's a dilemma. Both of the cakes are on the rack and it's hard to get them off the rack without them falling apart. What do you mean without them falling apart? Yes, it's very tender. Are they, shoot, they didn't cool down enough, crap. We don't want it to fall apart. If it does, not the end of the world. Okay, you have one minute till you lose your contestants. Me? Everyone. Okay, 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 listen up, all right? I'm gonna have to go off the phone soon, so you need to hear exactly what I'm gonna tell you. you go, you're going into places I'm not ready for. I'm just at the whipped cream, bro. If I don't talk to you again, the whole thing, the dick in the oven gets dunked, the top of it gets dunked into the chocolate, the goo in the fridge goes into it, inject it up and in. So you want me to put frosting on the cake, put the other cake on top of it and pour chocolate on it, right? Do you want it like, like f***ing just, just oozing with goo? Yes, goo in the fridge, dicks in the oven, and chocolate in the bowl, I trust you. Then you're going to cover the whole thing with that chocolate mixture, and then after that, you're going to cover that with the chocolate flakes. Goo in the fridge, dicks in the oven, chocolate for supper time. You got the goo in the fridge. Dicks in the oven, chocolate in the bowl. It's sounding like a little bit like country. Then you're going to pipe on little circles with the whipped cream and put maraschino cherries in all of it all the way around. Make sense? That's where the cherries come into play. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. just listen, just listen, Keith. Yeah, cherries on top of whipped cream. Put it in the bowl. I trust you. I knew, I knew it. I felt this coming. At least he can make something. With the chefs out of quarters, Keith and Zach will now finish the last 10 minutes alone. Okay. okay. I'm, do, I'm going. Oh, he's gone. Ah! <laughs> Keith, how do you feel? Uh, I mean, I can't, I was like, there must be like 50 minutes left. See, I go look at this situation here. Uh oh. It's like opening up like a little egg. Wow, that's beautiful. What do you think you've made, Keith? The wrong thing. <laughs> it looks like a giant Oreo. It's not as smooth, I imagine, as he wanted it to be. <laughs> One more time, oh no! <laughs> Don't do that. Stay in here. Stay together, everybody. Oh, look at these. Oh, they cracked. That certainly is not ideal. What the f could this be? Stay, what am I gonna do? So I gotta somehow get this goo into this bag and then pipe it. Okay, let's get the goo in dicks. Just like Johnny told me. It's creating a little support and wall right now. Oh, I'm really just pulverizing it. You said to make little cute dollops and decorate with cherries. Really unspecific. Stab a little hole and then you squeeze. Give it a little chocolate bath. Oh boy. Oh no!
Yeah. You might think it's underreacting, but I think I'm just in shock. What do we do? It's just, do it's just too warm. So it's just quiet too right hot. Now. It's just too hot. The cakes are too hot. Cakes. Can't, you can't make cake when it's too hot. Dude, your cake is so hot. No, well, just put some more in. Oh, when Keith gets sad, he gets really quiet. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't blame you. It's too warm. Cakes are too warm. They melted everything, and then they drank up all the junk, and then just fell right apart. What did you think about Zach saying a six-inch stick was small? Uh -huh. I'm not gonna get into the weeds of it all, but I did not say that. Right, he you know, did. Do you know what a size queen is? Uh, no, is it someone that, so in the gay world, or maybe all the worlds, basically it's like somebody who like loves a big dick. Right, right. And so Zach is a size, a, queen. a size queen. Gotcha, that makes sense. How much time? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay. I worked so hard to give up now, no. No, oh boy, this can't be the way that he wanted me to do that. Um, uh. Five, four, oh, three, two, one. <laughs> Hands up, bakers! Nailed it. Fucking crushed it, guys. <laughs> what did I make? <laughs> Welcome to the judging. Today's criteria is taste, presentation, and execution. Hey, I'm Garrick Bernard. I'm an actor and comedian. Uh, somebody was sick, so they called me. Probably somebody more qualified, right? It was the LA Times food columnist. It was the LA Times food columnist. So, big disappointment here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hi, I'm Monique. I'm a Michelin starred pastry chef, and I was formerly the chocolatier at the French Laundry. So, I'm really looking forward to our chocolate creations today. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this is bad news. Yeah. Uh, G good luck to me. <laughs> Judges, first of all, thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm so excited for you to taste what I've created for you today. I had this vision this morning that we would have a Michelin star pastry chef. Right? <laughs> so I said, why not try to rise to the occasion? I, I make cakes like it's clockwork, but today I got to impress the big leagues. Mm -hmm. So I decided maybe something you'd find in a beautiful window in Paris. Today I present you with none other than my world famous chocolate eclairs. Oh. There is a Paris in California also. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Paris as well. Paris, Texas? <laughs> Not a place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I did this, so this is really good. Yeah. I, I don't want to offend you, Chef Johnny, but it does look like shit. <laughs> It does look uh, like BC. I unfortunately agree. It's very apt that you brought up your vision of Paris. The Parisians, there's a cliche for um, they're not picking up after their dogs. And so this really reminds me of being in the streets of Paris. Uh, the theme today was chocolate. So I really dunked them. Yeah. <laughs> Normally I don't do that. <laughs> Normally it's less. <laughs> that looks really nicely filled, to be honest. That's like a very good open pocket. Yeah, that looks great too. I don't hate it. Taste-wise, it is an eclair. All of the elements are there and they taste correct. Relatively the correct consistency. And honestly, something that exceeded expectation was the glossage. Sometimes it can be very fake tasting um, and this is Really well done. Now, because I've, I've never had an eclair before, I don't know what I'm really looking for, to be honest. Great. Yeah, right? that lot, no, right? that's really great. I still don't know what an eclair is. <laughs> so I, is it supposed to be like a shell? It's supposed to be a little crispier. Mm -hmm. okay. I thought it was a donut. 
I, I thought the, the whole time it was a donut. I mean, what I'm hearing is I've broken boundaries. You've broken boundaries. I've created something entirely new, I fresh, think, yeah. original, fresh, yeah. never been done before. Yeah. I'm gonna Google Eclair. Iona, I think I said. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Choose carefully because you never yeah, know yeah, what you, you might get. You so. Yeah. Oh, it's so. It's a, shall I eat shit on camera? <laughs> oh, was that not already happening? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Dad. I hope you're proud of me. Okay. <laughs> exactly as I intended. <laughs> <laughs> Famously, I love it wet and gushy. Oh, God. Yes. They gotta call Cardi. Well, thank you so much, uh, judges. Today, I have prepared for you a decadent two layer Black Forest cake, or a Black Forest gateau. Uh, it is uh, got a devil's food cake recipe with a, uh, a whipped cream filling. Uh, it's gonna be covered in a delicious chocolate ganache and have, of course, shaved semi-sweet chocolate uh, all across it. And on top, of course, we're gonna use that same whipped cream and put some delicious dark cherries to finish off that wonderful, classy look. And I can't wait to see it myself. <laughs> <laughs> My masterpiece, as God intended. I can't believe I made so many decisions to put the bars like fortress walls. Um, it was like your cake was way too fucking hot for your plan. And somebody had to figure out what to do. This Gosh. is a good show. <laughs> this is a choice. Oh. I wish we could judge you on your verbal presentation. Thank that you, you just so You nicely. still can, actually. <laughs> yeah. That moment when you took the cloche off, I don't think I've ever had a harder, like, Instagram versus reality. Yeah. Ah, and, yes. And, I love and, meme and culture. Life. It's cool. I like it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually kind of... Can you tell us more about the bars? The bars? Yeah. yeah. That's semi-sweet chocolate <laughs> bars uh, that were originally put against a cheese grater on the largest hole setting. But I think at some point, I must have thought that is a dumb idea. <laughs> because when I want to eat chocolate, I want the whole thing. I want bars. I don't want to be teased. That's a heavy slice. Okay, there's a, definitely intended to put frosting. Ew. Monique, look, that thing that fell off right in front, it's got a little bit of everything. It's perfect. It's exactly what you want to bite into. Oh my gosh. Um, it's really good. <laughs> yes. Do you feel like the guy in Matilda? Yeah. This is kind of it's real kind evocative of the same. Of Yeah, I'll eat this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And the flavor is really good. The texture, the moistness level is all spot on. I think it's a really good chocolate cake. I'm not sure that it's a good Black Forest cake. Fortress. Cake. You must have right, misheard right. me. The filling in between is just completely nowhere to be found. Maybe because the cake was hot. Feels like a general theme, uh, letting the cakes cool down. Before <laughs> the general assembly. theme of baking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when whipped cream melts, it just basically becomes cream, and you're missing that really important factor that's part of a Black Forest cake. So the, the chocolate bars might make me um, keel over um, and die, unfortunately, but. I do think that the, the everything else is pretty solid. Mmm, okay. The base cake is very good. If I was able to do this again, Chef, I would probably take another hour or two, mm -hmm. let the cake cool down. Such a silly mistake to me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Um, thank you, judges, for your professional and very kind opinion. <laughs> So guys, this was a tough decision to make because before coming here, uh, I didn't even know what these were. Yes, congratulations, chef. Um, the winning dish is...
Black Forest. Oh, Congratulations. Good job. Congrats. You did it. I am so shocked. So this is a cake, and this is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> and you made some fatal flaws. Wow. Yes, <laughs> yes I take full responsibility <laughs> for the piece of shit. <laughs> I served you! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Maybe it's the room that does it to us. Goo in the fridge. Chicks in the oven. That's a good song. Can, should, can we like record it? We're gonna have to make a little dance to it though. Goo in the fridge, dicks in the oven. Chocolate in the bowl. Goo in the fridge, dicks in the oven. Chocolate in the bowl. 